everyone. Unboxing video. I've got two boxes actually to unbox. I know what's in them, but I'm not going to dilly dadda, dilly daddle, whatever the term is, I can't remember. So, let's get into it. My radios have arrived, he says. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Make these boxes a little more easier to manage as well. I don't need that big old tab on it, and I don't need this big old tab either. Here we go. Right. Oh my god, he's got more wrapped up as well. <laughs> um, so. I think a set speech is that one. What I'm going to do, I'm going to actually uh, take the items out of the set box. Uh, and uh, then get the box out of the way, then we'll unwrap them. So that big old box there, that can go my outside cupboard in a little bit. Uh buried my knife. Where put knife? Knife! Where for up there knife? There we go, I found it. Uh oh just got plug there. Well packaged. So that's already a thumbs up. Everything is well packaged. Ah, so this is the CD player that's got the f um, fault on a speaker and an antenna that looks like it may have been cut short but that's not an issue. Not a lot in the way of ports on it, there's just speaker ports. What's that? Oh, radio CD. DBBS on, off, AM, FM and FM stereo and the tuning where's the volume? find the tuning what's on the top? open, repeat, program power button headphone jack what I'll do, I'll check the headphones as well to see if it's got the same issue with the headphones or if it's just on the back there. So, <laughs> chuck that one down, well not chuck it down here, but put that down there. Uh, but I can already see what one it is. Those are the speakers that go with it, should we just quickly have a look at those as well. I'll be careful because I've got wire poking up this end. What a day. I've been at Mum's, so these have been waiting outside. Well, outside the flat front door, not outside, outside. Not bad looking pair of speakers, actually. It might be a nice little system. Pine bubble wrap up down there, right. I'm going to guess that this is twin deck, twin tape deck one. Right, so... I can't find a starting point so I'm just going to make one. This feels like he's wrapped it in a refuse sack. That's what it, yeah, that's what it looks like. Those doubled it over and whatnot. Give him good credit for his um, packing. The boxes have come a bit squished, but nothing seems to be physically damaged anyway, so I'm not going to complain. Smells like PVA glue. 
Anyone remember that smell from their school days? I actually used to love that stuff. I used to love getting the PVA glue all over my hands and then spend the afternoon pe peeling it off. <laughs> so it's, it's like Russian boxes, isn't it? Like them Russian dolls, you know, it's a box inside a box. And, uh, uh, yeah, this is my boom box. Kind of, sort of. Oh. I'm just going to leave that blade out for now. I'm so excited! Can you tell? <laughs> right. Ooh, that's in nice condition. Cosmetically. Yeah, the, needs a bit of a clean, but there's my Awa. antenna okay? I believe everything was okay on this but uh, you just said these needed a service like they're all gonna need. Pause button is stuck on. High speed dubbing on this one as well. I've never seen that on a little machine like this. What have we got? Headphones, got mic, function between tape and radio, mono and stereo, Oh, and then it's got tape. CRO2 slash metal and normal. So I presume that depends on what mode if you've got it in. Ah, that's a clever idea. Two functions, one button. I like that idea. What's that? Is that volume? No, that's tone, that's volume. FM, SW, MW, LW. Tuning. Tuning seems to be working. Good. I'm happy with that. I've got no batteries left in here, have we? No. Any extra ports? We've got the power socket there. No, just a headphone jack. Right, I'll put you on the floor. No. This is the um, cassette deck I bought. I've got to be careful when I open it. I don't want to cut the cables. Plastic just flaked off there, but there it is. What a weird little piece of kit. You can see what I bought it now. It's got the carry handle. It's got the um, memo mic, whatever that is. I'm guessing that's a built-in mic, and you can put in two mics there, master and number two. Line in, tape out. Headphone jacks, you see you've got master, then you've got two, three, four, five, and six. Oh, that's smart. It's got an internal speaker, and if you put the plug in one way around, you can have internal speaker and external. If you turn it around, I'm going to zoom you in. how well you can see that. Can you see that? So you can either have it as external and internal or switch it around and have just external. I like that. Apparently the sound is just muffled from the tape there. It's got a rusty screw there. I'm not too fussed about that. If it bugs me too much I can either clean it up and paint it or swap it. Now I was aware that the um, tabs got broke off because it's supposed to have two tabs here so you can you know, fold your cable up. Sealed plug. 
I like this. No idea what Nemo was meowing about in the background. Me like. That definitely looks like, um... It's got to be something in the education, hasn't it? Or, you know, something... A profession, I don't know. It definitely doesn't look like something you would get in, um... Your common household. That's the other reason I got it, because it is different. Right. We go. The tape has actually come off on this one on the ends. This is why I like to actually go all the way around a box when I tape them up. So it's not going to be hard to open this. We. We. Why am I a bloody kid or something? I have no idea why I came out of that. Right. So I've got the rest of them in here. Let's go check that I have actually got 10 items. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 10, 9, hold on a minute. Don't tell me one's missing. Oh! Sure I bought, I'm going to have to just double check, but I'm sure I got 10, not 9 items. Um, Although, off the top of my head at the minute, I can't remember what ones I got. We'll have a look, and if there is any issues or whatever, I'll sort it out later. One's gone adrift. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Mm. Right. Oh, these are bigger than I thought. I thought these were little pocket radios. I didn't think they were that big. <laughs> Not that's a problem, I don't mind it. I wasn't just I just wasn't expecting a nice little radio. The Bambino Hiker. Yeah, it's working. So, how do you put the batteries in? You flip this off, I presume. I presume that should flip out somehow. Battery contact is broken. Oh, I see. It's got one of these in it. I have just dropped a piece. I might be able to find a replacement one of these. That's all it's gonna all it's gonna need. It needs six volts in, so for the time being, just to see if it does work, I can, you know, just bodge six volts to that with a couple of jumper wires and a six volt battery. Make sure holder is inserted as shown. Yep. Okay, so. Uh, it looks like that could be triple A's. I thought it was double A's, but it looks triple A to me. But that is a very nice little unit, I like that. Tuning's okay, yeah. Earphone, speaker. There is no pull-up antenna on this one now. Ew, now, this one. No oh, worries, I'll clear all that crap up tomorrow. I just can't be asked to do it tonight. Heck, I've only just got in from Mum's when I found these and I was too excited I just had to put the camera on and start filming just checking on my battery. That's the Philips one. 
Aha! It moves a little bit and then gets stuck. I've had one do that before, so I don't think it's going to be an issue. That, oh, that must be the wrong. Look at that. Yeah, oh, that's on off. I don't know what anybody else thinks, but to me, you just don't get. Modern stuff just doesn't look as nice to me. So that takes three R14s, which are C cells. I like that as well. That's, this is just another MWLW. Which is just labelled as L and M in the back. <laughs> 90 AL162. I have no idea what that is. But uh, yeah, that's getting stuck for some reason, so I should be able to rectify that problem quite easily. I've stacked them up as you can see, so I think I'm just going to work from the top down. Let's get paid. I might see if he's got any more. <laughs> Good save. Right, we've got the Avenger here. I've got enough bubble wrap to last me till Christmas, I think. So, yeah, there's the Avenger, isn't that a nice one? That's one that I wanted to keep because it's got AM, FM. Is the tuna dial working? Yeah, that's all working. RTR 500. Next. Oh, I can see what this one is through the bloody bubble wrap. This is the one that needs some attention on the um, cassette dro door, the door itself. And that's the other one that I wanted to keep. Oh, yeah, I can see it's not supposed to be at that angle. So. Oh, I see. It's actually come off. It doesn't look broken. It looks like it has just come off. I'm not seeing anything broken on here. And that looks a bit melted, like someone has tried to fix it. Yeah, there's the spring for it. Maybe something has broken, but eh. why is the pause button always stuck down on these ones? So that's tuning. Ooh. All right. I think tuning is going to need a bit of a grease up. You need you missed a muscle to turn that, but it is turning. Volume turn. Function. Sending an FMMW radio. One of these it said it had a... Oh no, it's not this one. No external jacks. Battery packs, fine. Power socket. Well, this one is that simple. It doesn't even have a headphone jack. Not that I can see, anyway. Oh yeah, it has an ear and a mic jack on the back there. I'm blind. It's right there. There's a close-up for those that want to see it. Right. This is the one I was thinking of that has the broken antenna. It has the broken antenna. Apparently the base is broken. But, uh, right, that bit, oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's easy to fix this bit. Oh, hang on. The antenna has actually been pushed all the way in. Let's see what he means. So, 
I'll open that up and have a look and see what I can do. But that is easy enough just to fix. I can glue that back on there. I've got VHF, which is the old FM, or what they used to call FM. Philco Ford. Look at this. It's got a Ford badge. <laughs> Was the bet in this came, you know, as like a bloody promotional thing with a Ford car back in the day? I may have to do some research on this one. It looks like it's battery only because I can't find a thingy on it. Ah! There's the antenna, but what is it meant to see? He's, that's what he means. It's um, not attached, but what the frig batteries go in that? They see cell batteries? Nah, they're not gonna fit in there, are they? So much battery only. Oval speaker. Bloody hell! Two watt. Ooh, powerful. Shit there. Um, ah! Oh, I see what's happened. Um, I think the only option I've got uh, may be, I may have to um, hot glue that back in place and hope it holds. I can't actually, uh... I can't actually see any other way that I could do that. It's a nice little device though. Apparently, aside from that antenna, it is a working machine, so... Yeah, and this trim that needs to be glued back on. So I think a little bit of TLC and I'll have a decent little unit here. Battery compartment needs a little bit of... Work. That's actual proper wood. I think this is in a wooden cabinet. What are we on there? Ha! You do. This is actually meant for old cars. Look. It's got a car antenna socket there where you just plug the antenna straight in. Oh my god. Oh, it's got AC power as well. Ear and tape there. <laughs> it's not that old though, because it's got VHF, FM on it. MW and LW. AFC, I have no idea what AFC is. Oh, that was definitely worth the 45p, I think. That might be the first one I work on. Right, I've got one more. actually think of one that is missing but I'm, I must have miscounted and thought I'd got ten. Like I said I'm gonna double check. He's a good seller so if there is one missing I, I guarantee he'll post it out. Oh this is the old Panasonic. I don't know what it is, I've just got a thing for these old radio cassette players. Not so much this one, if I get that working that's probably going to go back on eBay. Tuning... That's okay. So... It's on the back. Now that's just band selection. Day spring in there, but that'll clean up. I'm looking for the function selector to select between tape and radio, but we don't find it. Ah, it's on this side. There we go. It's here. <laughs> That's where the switch is for tape and radio. Monitor. 
can't remember what that's for, but I think you can leave it, stick it on monitor and leave it in a room like that recording. I think that's what it's for. I was to, I'm on these radio groups, so I should know. But I've got a shit memory. <laughs> Six volt DC in, so you can run it from a Ah, from either an AC mains or the DC or battery. So you got three options on this one. <laughs> that is the last one. I want that so I can find out if that's oh. Batteries in as well. This is the remote for that CD player thing that I've got on the floor. The first one that I opened. So is that double? Uh, the answer to that question is it is double A. Now I know I can get various battery com um, holders like this on eBay, so I'm going to go and have a look when I finally settle down at the PC. But, uh, so far, I am happy. I still can't help but feel there's one missing. Anyway, uh, hope you enjoyed this little unboxing video. Guess what future videos are going to entail? <laughs> Hopefully, if I feel like filming them, I might not. All depends on how I feel. I wouldn't mind at least perhaps some of the easier ones, like the Philco. Got a flying car, I don't know if the camera caught that. The camera might have been too high, but <laughs> he's just jumped straight across the gap. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching everyone. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it, give me a thumbs down if you didn't, and I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye.